What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you the craziest effect that I just came up with. I'm gonna call it uh, a crazy geometric trippy transition. It's kind of hard to put a name on it because it's pretty unique, but it is so fire. So make sure to stick until the end with me. That way you learn all this sauce. We're gonna have a bunch of fun together. We always do on this channel. That way, if you're new to this channel, my name is Gus. I run a friendly file store in which I sell editing packs, presets, templates, basically all the sauce you need to sauce up your videos all in a matter of a single drag and drop. So if you want to level up your videos, I'll have the link down below. By the way, my lazy ass just got back to the gym. I don't know what took me so long, but look, talk to me. That was really cringy. Let's get into this. All right, let's do this. So at the end, we should get an effect just like this. As you can see, it's super trippy, super crazy. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into this. All right, so this is what we should have at the beginning. So I made like the first clip and then this is my second clip, so I can call it clip two. And basically what we want to do is for this sequence, like this is just a normal clip. And then this, you basically want to rotoscope it. If you don't know how to rotoscope yet, I'm pretty surprised, but no shame in it. There are plenty of tutorials out there. That's not what I'm going to cover in this video. I'm going to focus on the creative side of it. So as you can see, I have this layer rotoscope right here. So automatically, once that's done, we're going to create a new adjustment layer and basically give it that choppy effect that we're looking for. So let's do chop this, come and shift D, and then let's chop this up right here, come and shift D as well, and delete. And we're going to drag the effect on top of everything, posterize time. Let's make it eight frames per second. Yeah, all right. Now we should have this. Well, as you can see, it's really that effect that gives it like that kind of style. Real quick, before we continue with the tutorial, I need to put you onto my brand new preset pack, New Wave FX V2. If you want to stand out as an editor, have crazy transitions, grungy transitions, trippy transitions, a bunch of presets that are going to make you stand out and that fit the whole New Wave aesthetic from artists like Fake Mink, Ned Spen, Che, and many more, this is the pack for you. There are over 30 plus drag and drop presets that you can simply slap on any adjustment layer and will instantly transform your videos. This is one of my favorite packs I've ever made. Creators love it and I use it on every single one of my projects. The presets will be sent to you instantly after you purchase. If you want to copy it, I'll even have a code for 15% off down below. Make sure you check it out. With that said, let's get right into this tutorial. Right, after this, we're gonna create like the craziest effect that is in it, which is that kind of like geometric moving thing in the background. So we're gonna create a new solid. Let's make it white and we're gonna call it GO Stocks. Why not? And then we're gonna put it below the rotoscope layer, which is right here. And now we're going to apply the effects crop edges. There we go. And now we can make crop amount, let's say 25. Yeah, 25 is pretty good. And now here's where the sauce comes in for real. As you can see, for example, with the crop top effect right here, when we move it, it's going to create, you get those like, yeah, as you can see. So that's what's going to give it that really cool and um, like geometric style. So let's just do command Z on those. And, and now we're going to create an expression. It's pretty simple and we're just going to be able to copy paste it. So let's do alt click on the white angle. Let's type posterize time parenthesis eight. Whoa, 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 what is that? Posterize time eight. Arrow to the right, semicolon, press enter. And then we're going to type wiggle parenthesis 24 comma. And then let's do, let's do 80. So now it's going to keep like wiggling. So that property is wiggling. We're going to do the same thing for the rest. We can just copy it, come in C, and then let's do, I'll click on that one as well. Come in V, the same thing for that one, come in V, same thing for that one, come in V. Now we should have this, like how crazy is that? Like that's insane. And you can adjust it. You can make it like the crop amount this, if you just want like a small, like this in the background. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna make it like 30, gonna be, yeah, that looks really cool. And just don't forget to chop this up in the beginning. And now we should have this. That is so tough. Now, before getting further into the effect, we're just gonna add a transition when the effect comes in, that way it's smooth. So let's do that. So we're going to go to my new wave effects V2 presets where you can find so many of these fire transitions that really make your like your video stand out. So we're just going to do 
a new adjustment layer let's create a new adjustment layer and then we're gonna go with glitch out i feel like i don't show that one often but in that style it's gonna look crazy i think hey that is really tough that looks insane to be honest one thing i might do though extra sauce so this is like the pulsarized time layer right so let's just write like choppy and then this effect we can put it like under that way it really matches like the frame when it becomes like low frame so when we play it now it's gonna be like Sheesh. as you can see it really matches like that style like it's a super fire transition hey y'all might as well call me chef gus already at this point no one calls me that so now we're gonna add some texture to the background really make it stand out let's do that together let's go and we're not done with the sauce actually let me just add you see like geo sauce let's just add a drop shadow to it it's gonna add so much more depth yeah add a drop shadow make it like that we can make it a hundred percent should we oh yeah it's gonna fit that style do i uh no we're gonna we're gonna let it like just like rough like that that's clean let's see what that gives us hey hey that's actually fire though Yo, that's actually fire like it really adds more depth as you can see so now let's also up like the background right here let's do cc toner cc toner we're gonna add a different color so let's go to mid tones and then we can make it red this red looks pretty cool and we can sauce it up some more if you don't have the sapphire smith unfortunately i don't we're not gonna cover how we can do it like without the plugin but there's an effect called sapphire halftone that i love using look at this what the hell and then when you put like cc toner under you're gonna get like that touch that is really clean i love it sauce alert that is so clean honestly you can even add a drop shadow to the rotoscope layer i think that's gonna look saucy let's add drop shadow bam add some like distance to it we're gonna put some softness to that one just that way it stands out Bam. let's see what that gives us now lastly i'm gonna show you how to make that kind of like paper geometric transition that at the out i'm gonna show you an example right here let me try. <laughs> yeah let me show you how to do that so we're just gonna create a, another solid so you can do command y uh, for the shortcut and let's just type g o out we're gonna put it under the choppy adjustment layer and and every three frames we can make a new one like something like that uh command check d by the way boom boom until there maybe let's make another one there we go we should be good let's delete the rest not that so now we're not going to use the crop edges effect. We're going to use the pen tool right here, the good old classic pen tool. So at first, we're just going to do, we're just going to do something like that. A mask like this doesn't have to be precise. It's all about having fun with it. Then the second one, you make it go a little further. So something like this. Boom. Then the third one, since we're close to the like uh, clip changing, we want it to be like almost full, something like that. And then, and then that one, we're gonna do like the opposite. So we're just, I'm just gonna make like this small mask right here, boom. But we're gonna press M and subtract, subtract the mask. Ooh, did you know that? Let me know in the comments. And then we're gonna do the same thing. It's really like, you don't have to be precise because it's really like that raw that raw style that uh makes up for it so once again m subtract and then boom we're gonna make this one like this bam and then now when i guess we can delete it let's see what we have we might have to adjust it this way that's clean that's super clean so all that's left we're just gonna add like the same drop shadow so let's do shift click on all of these layers we're gonna do pre-compose g o out and we're gonna add the drop shadow we're gonna point it up increase the distance opacity let's make it like 50 percent now and now that's it let's look at our final result So 
So that was it for today. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end. If you enjoyed this video and if you got any value from it, please consider subscribing. We drop sauce on this channel all the time for you guys. And also let me know in the comments what else you want to see from this channel. Also, if you want to copy New Wave FX V2 that I showed in this video, you can check the link down in the description. I left it there with 15% off. With that said, I'm out. Peace.